Well, fans of the movie Unbreakable and Split have been waiting for this week, and the third film in that series was released today. It is called Glass, and it brings Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, and James McAvoy together on the big screen. But does it live up to the trilogy? Here's entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon. The trick is to talk about how slowly this film plays without boring you. Tell you how tedious it is without causing you to click away. Glass is the name of Samuel L. Jackson's character. My bones break easily. And the title has a double meaning that's apparent late in the movie, but by then I'd lost all interest and was counting the minutes until Glass could be over. If only Bruce Willis had followed the advice of his character. Don't do this. Director M. Night Shyamalan made a sequel to not one but two of his biggest blockbusters. Split featured James McAvoy as a guy with multiple personalities. Unbreakable, now more than 18 years old, had Willis playing survivor of a train wreck caused by glass. Each of the three firmly believe they possess real superpowers. I am here to see if tales of the extraordinary being are true. A psychiatrist played by Sarah Paulson brings them together in a Philadelphia mental hospital to try and convince them that they're suffering from delusions of grandeur. Like something out of a comic book. Despite what you see in the trailer, the movie doesn't have enough action. There are a few flashes of brilliance here, some riffs there that demonstrate what might have been. But Glass wastes most of its considerable star power. Jackson stares into space for most of the picture. Willis is gone from the screen for lengthy periods. So that leaves only McAvoy to amaze us, shifting between identities like a true virtuoso. Por favor, senora. I want my headphones back. Step away from the controls now, little doctor. You can't beat the beat! What we have here is a form of artistic bankruptcy, where the director has simply run out of new ideas and so must recycle old ones. There are too few chills, not enough thrills, and just a whole lot of talking. Glass is a long, tough slog that I certainly would never pay to endure.